Let's talk real quick about the importance of having a system. And here's how I learned about systems. In 1914, or sometime in the uh, 60s, I was up, say, let's just say probably about 1965, 6. I was in the Hamptons. And I was a busboy during the night. And during the day, I worked at the Greasy Spoon Pizza Hero thing on the side of the road. And Memorial Day, it was like, bam, all the, people, the city people came up out of New York City. It was like a traffic jam up there. And uh, we were on the side of the road. We were the, like the first Hampton you ran into. And the two-lane highway went right by our place. So we were the first place you could get those things. So that 500-degree oven is where I spent my days shoving pizzas in and out and the uh, hero sandwiches. And then also at night, I was doing the busboy thing. Now at night, there was a guy named Gino. Gino was the owner. And he was there. Now Gino was your classical sun-tanned, slimy, but hard-working restaurant owner, Italian guy with the black greasy hair and the chain and the shirt unbuttoned down to his waist and quite the classic swinger-looking guy, but a very good restaurant owner and hard-working guy, very profitable. But Gino and I were in the restaurant one night at like 2 a.m. So here we are, it's 2 a.m. And Gino says to me, and it's funny how truth, you know, people, you never know when someone's going to tell you something you're going to use uh, the rest of your life or it may change the rest of your life. But at that moment, something happened. I don't ever remember Gino and I ever talking about anything else. If we did, I forgot. But I do remember this. Gino said to me, now here's what we're doing. Here's the stage. Stage is, is the place, the restaurant's empty. We're cleaning up. And it was like, uh, you know, like you work for a caterer or something like that. A lot of dirty dishes. Dirty dishes. Customers left. And the idea was how can we get cleaned up and get out of there as quick as possible? as fast as possible. Let's clean those tables, get that stuff to the back. Now, so Gino said, Larry, come over here. He said, look at that moron over there on the other side of the restaurant. He said, watch how he busses the table. Now, up to that point, I'd never heard of bussing the table. That, is that Boos's bus? Yeah. Bus the table. I'd never heard of the concept. I knew when I was cleaning stuff off the table, I didn't realize I was bussing. I guess that's why I'm a bus boy. But bussing the table. He said, Larry, come over here. Look at that moron over there. Now, I was glad he wasn't talking to that moron and having him look over at me because I was doing exactly the same thing before I became an insider. Gino made me an insider. So he said, Larry, look at that moron. He said, he goes over there and every table is different. And we watched him for a while, and it was. You know, one table, he'd pick up a couple of the forks, and then he'd get a plate, and then he'd get a couple glasses. And I mean, it took him forever to clean that table. And obviously, this was, was not good. He had no system. That's what. See, obviously, Gino had spent a lifetime in the restaurants, and he, got th he was successful, so he got things done, and had done enough of it, to develop systems for everything. But he said, this guy has no system. So as a result, he takes forever. He said, this guy is never going to get any better at busing table. He's never going to move up. He's Because he's always going to be inky dinky doing around. But he said, now, he said, you don't want to be that guy. He said, let me show you Thank goodness he didn't put me on the spot and say, now, Larry, show me how to do it. He said, 
Let me show you now how to do it. And so what he did, he went around and showed me the Geno system. Now, the reason Geno had a system was since he had a restaurant, probably there's many nights he didn't have a busboy show up, and he had to do it late at night. And Geno, being the energetic, gung-ho guy who probably had ladies waiting for him later in the evening, that's why I'm saying it was one of those kind of uh, Italian restaurant owners, he was eager to get this project over with, and Gino had a system for everything, and especially doing something as time-wasting as bussing tables. So here's what Gino did. He went around in one swoop. He grabbed all. First of all, he grabbed the silverware. Now, see, what did he do? He started with the big things first. He went around like boom, 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 boom. One hand, he swept around the table. It was like, it was like seeing an artist at work. Bam, 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 bam. He knocked stuff off the plates. And in one swoop, he grabbed up four plates, put them on the, uh, uh, the little uh, carrying thing. And then boom, 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 boom. He went around and he got the, uh, the saucers, the next swipe. The next swipe, he grabbed up, and each finger he grabbed up the wine glasses and the water glasses. Boom. So in like three sweeps, Gino had plates, saucers, glasses on there, and then he went in one massive swipe and got all of the silverware, got out a rag, wiped the table down, bam! It was just like boop, 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 whereas the other guy was still picking up, you know, his second or third glass. And Gino looked at me and he said, Larry, you got to have a system. Because if you don't have a system, you're never going to go anywhere. And whatever you do, you got to have a system. Or you're just going to be doing it and never going anywhere. The great thing I learned later about a system, as soon as you get a system, you not only do you save time yourself, get more done, but it makes it easier to train other people. Now, where Gino was the dumbbell was he never took five seconds, you know, the five seconds it would take with me or, it, you, well, I was the only one he did, but with the other guy, he could have taken a minute and shown that guy his system, and the guy would have probably been a whole lot uh, more efficient, even if he didn't do it perfect. And I found out later that once you develop a system, not only can you get more done, but you can duplicate yourself a whole lot quicker. Now you can train somebody else to be efficient much quicker. So, folks, that's some insight into the importance of a system. No matter whatever you're going to do, if you're going to do a lot of it, you better get a system.